Hi, hello, and welcome back to my movie reviews. Uh, uh, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any good movie reviews. Today, I'm hitting you with a heartfelt one. One that I personally love. <laughs> I'm like already biased. Well, you're gonna like it because I like it. Okay? Yeah. Um, so today I am reviewing the Netflix movie Tick Tick Boom starring Andrew Garfield, Alexandria Ship, and Robin De, De Jesus. Um, and it is the directorial I did not say directorial debut of Lin-Manuel Miranda and if you didn't know he is the wonderful playwright who wrote uh sorry who wrote In the Heights and of course the Broadway smash hit Hamilton so this is Tick Tick Boom okay let's get into it I'm just going I'll be spoiling some things but you know like not everything but some things okay Spoilers probably ahead. Um, so Tick Tick Boom follows. Sorry, I'm having like an indigestion. Okay, uh, Tick Tick Boom follows Jonathan Larson. If you don't know who Jonathan Larson is, he's also a brilliant playwright who wrote the also the other Broadway smash hit Rent. Okay, this it Tick Tick Boom is um. A musical that John that um, Tick Tick Boom is based on a musical uh, that Jonathan Larson did of the same name. Um, it's an autobiographical monologue of his uh, of his disappointment of his of one of his first sorry his first play suburbia which i'm like sitting here going okay you can't just be like talking about it and then like never make it okay you hear me i need this in my life okay so basically this whole movie is about how he's just you know he's in new york he's struggling with his artistry he wants to be on broadway he wants to write a broadway hit and so he is working on one called Superbia, and like he kind of and he's doing that while navigating you know his his relationship with his girlfriend and also his friendships that he has and um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty good synopsis for you here's the thing if you don't know anything about Jonathan Larson I mean you can look it up it's pretty much mi like mentioned not right away but like Jonathan Larson, like I said, he wrote uh, Rent, and unfortunately, opening night of Rent on Broadway uh, is when he passed away suddenly from an aortic aneurysm. So the whole thing is just very sad, okay? But there was some beautiful moments in this whole movie that were just like... Like, it was giving me Rent vibes. And obviously, it's because he wrote Rent based, based on part of his life, which is struggling to be an artist in New York City, one of the most expensive places to live. And, you know, also being with other artists who are struggling with with their artistry as long as with other things that you can struggle with, like drugs and diseases. Um most prevalent AIDS and HIV. So, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of, there in this, there's a lot of Rent vibes in this movie. So if you're a huge lover of Rent, you're going to love Tick, Tick, Boom, because it is, you basically, as you're watching, you're like, I need to go watch Rent. Okay. And I just need to go watch it now. Um, also the other crazy thing. And so like, I watched this movie um, and there's this interaction that John, Andrew Garfield plays Jonathan Larson. So there's this interaction that Jonathan Larson has, has with the, uh, with the musical master, uh, Stephen Sondheim, who also, who is an amazing playwright and musical writer and Broadway 
master and he learned from Oscar Hammerstein. So it's like a huge, there's a, there's a lineage here, right? Well, after I watched this literally the next day, I hear that Sondheim passed away. And I was like, it's just like all coming together. I'm just so sad. What is happening? <laughs> um, but honestly, though, what I also loved about this is like his, this whole monologue that he's doing is also about him approaching the age of 30 and feeling like he hasn't accomplished what he would have wanted to accomplish, which I think speaks to many people around that age. I mean, I, I be honest, I'm sure I felt that way. I, a lot of people feel that way when they're reaching 30 and they're just like, I haven't done what I wanted to do. I haven't, I haven't achieved the greatness or the success that I was hoping to have by now. Um, and so I think it really touches a lot on that. It touches, and this is like, you know, it's because Rent was made um, in the 90s. Um, this is like, that's the era and that's when there was a very big, there's a, there's a very big wave of like AIDS and HIV happening. And so it also brings back to life that whole epidemic that was happening and the fact that like people literally didn't know how much they had left because science wasn't you know up to speed like not up to speed but science hadn't progressed enough to like where it is today where people can live for a very long time with the disease so there's like some dread <laughs> but within the dread there are some happy moments which like really comes back to the fact of like that's how life is Life sometimes can be very tragic, but through a, through that tragedy, there's always little moments of happiness that you just hold on to. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I really wanted to say. I just thought like every character that was in here was brilliant. Um, like I said, he was working really hard on this you know, on this musical, you know, trying to get some direction and like half of this monologue is him trying to write, um, trying to write a song for, um, one of his characters that he just like in his head, he's like, they don't need one. And everyone's like, nobody needs one. She needs to have like an aha moment or like, you know, there's always a turning point in the play. And that song was going to be, is, is and had to be the turning point of when the main character figures out that what he's been doing is incorrect. Um, uh, yeah, I just thought also the directing was pretty good. I, you know, again, because it felt like Rent, I just, it was good. Lynn manuel Miranda did a really good job of capturing um, the life of Jonathan Larson and what he was trying to accomplish with his life. And also uh, very much got the feel of how it feels to be dreading your 30th birthday and feeling like, feeling like you're not gonna get where you wanna go. I mean, technically Jonathan Larson finally did get on Broadway, but he was never alive to see it, which is also a very sad fact that they do end the movie on. And so you're kind of just reminded of all that. Andrew Garfield did a great job as Jonathan Larson and kind of having that inner artist struggle of like, he thinks he's do what he's doing is great, but like nobody else is seeing it and like, yeah, but there's also like this point of like, you can, there's also like, you're seeing his passion for what he's doing, but he's so blinded by his passion and so focused on his, like, uh, on this achieving and being so successful that he often, you know, he loses people that he loves and he's not there for them as he needs to be because he is just so focused. And I just think that's like an overall, that's just a lesson that everyone can learn, you know, good life, work-life balance, you know? Um, yeah, so for me, again, I, I'm coming into this a little bias because I already liked Rent. Already, it's already, that is like, that is like my 
musical is Rent. It's just so good. And so for me, I, I'm giving Tick, Tick, Boom a full five stars. I, I absolutely loved it. It was beautifully shot. I think it really did a good job of like that inner artist struggle to be great, but also to maintain relationships. And then also, um, you know, also I think captured a life of a, of a guy who, who left up, left us too soon. You know, uh, most people didn't know him. You know, I mean, not saying most people didn't know him, but like some people just don't know his story. So, um, I, you know, I, I fully like fell in love with that guy. <laughs> like just fell in love with this story and how is it, and again, his struggle. And then like, you know, and then I can totally see how he incorporated his own life into Rent and it just makes Rent that much better for me. So this is a full five stars for me. It is a musical for those who did not know. Um, I know some people have weird things about musicals. I am not one of those people. I love musicals. So uh, yeah, so you can watch Tick, Tick, Boom um, I on Netflix and that's the only place you can watch it. Um, and yeah, I say go watch it. It's a great movie. You're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have, you're gonna have some good times. You're gonna have some sad times. So it's overall a great movie. Um, so again, uh, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. Um, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any other movie reviews. Until next time.